Okay, so this thing's been discharging for 12 hours. And I've got the ammeter disconnected, but it's still pulling, oh, 4.2 amps. But it's 1 o'clock in the morning. I started, this started at uh, 1 in the afternoon. And I want to go to bed. So tonight I'm just going to give her a round of the TSO over there. And, uh, We'll see what happens. So, first off, I'm going to disconnect the load. And have a look. Let's see if it recovers much. Of course better recovery time would have been more uh, indicative of what it was really at, but I gotta get to sleep. Alright, so see that's popping back up. I think it's 1171 1172 She's popping back up pretty good, actually, better than I thought. It never hit that steep downward plunge, which I was kind of hoping it would about now. Well, I mean, the fact that it didn't is good news for the battery, but, uh, you know, at 4 amps, let's say, um, four amp hours each hour dozen hours you're looking at well maybe 50 amp hours you should be able to do three times that before it plunges into 10.5 if it was brand new so anyway let's hook this thing up and see what happens I've got this power supply here and I checked it out after being rectified it gives me 24 volts okay so what I'm gonna do is initially here I'm gonna hook up an ammeter on both ends so that I can sort of see what's going on when I'm tuning up the circuit one-handed electrical stuff. Somebody's going to get killed one day, I swear. Let's see if I can't get this here. Happening. Reasonably. Okay, so that's my charge output. And so this is going to be the input into the battery and over here you can see I got this is just a fuse link going up to the positive side of the rectifier which eventually leads through the ammeter over here which is my positive input my negative input to the oscillator is down here so this is my input And that's our current voltage. So I'm going to turn this way down. Now I still have the capacitors. Now I'm just going over here. I'm plugging in the AC adapter. I better hook up the negative terminal too. I 
think that wouldn't matter, but... There we go. Okay, so... We'll have a look at what happened with the... What happened with the voltage on the charge here. Now, let's see. Our input is about one to three hundred milliamps, and our output is slightly over five hundred milliamps. Now that makes sense because our input is 24 volts and so let's just play with this a little bit now the whole point of having the input ammeter is that I want to push the the adapter like it's rated at 34 watts so I don't want to push it too much and I've got small fairly small resistors on this circuit like 33 on each base and then only about 10 ohms on the main so in theory if I was pulling an amp then I'd be at 24 watts We should be below the so 24 volts 24 volts at an amp going in and what's that 1.5 6 7 just under 1.8 amps being delivered as a charge. And that's where she's sitting right now. So it's one o'clock in the morning. We'll have a look at it again in about one o'clock tomorrow afternoon. See where it's at then. 24 watts input. It's about right. Pretty noisy. She's charging. Alright, we'll have a look at it in the morning.